get into Corsali's morning market update. Let's take a look here at the markets this morning. We have the S&P futures up three handles this morning. Moving on to crude oil. Crude oil is down a quarter percent. Natural gas is down a tenth of percent. Gold is getting a bid. It's up at 13.39, up one percent. Dr. Copper up six tenths of a percent. Coffee up a quarter of a percent. AstraZeneca sees 40 billion to 41 billion in sales for by 2023. Uh, that just popped out. Anyway, moving on to European and Asian equities. Um, European equities are up. No, they're not. They're up. Uh, they're flat in uh, Germany to up to down over 1.6% in Spain. Uh, the Nikkei 225 composite finished down 1.13% last night. And let's see what happened in China. The Shanghai composite finished up uh, a tenth of a percent. Moving on to sovereign bonds, world sovereign bonds here. Okay, so U.S. Treasury yields are higher. That means the price of them sold off. Um, looks like Canada's closed today. And uh, Brazil, Colombia, uh, uh, the yields are lower. The, the, the prices are higher. There's an inverse correlation between the two. Uh, Mexico's, uh, the prices are slightly lower and the yields are slightly higher. European sovereign bonds are all higher. The prices are all higher uh, today, um, with the exception being Greece. Greece, the prices are, are lower, the yields are higher. Um, let's take a look uh, here to Asia. Uh, the, the yields in Japan are higher on the backs of Abe's uh, stimulus uh, package. Uh, not stimulus, uh, not monetary stimulus, fiscal stimulus where the government opens up its checkbook and starts doing infrastructure projects. Um, it looks like the Japanese yen got a bid overnight and uh, got stronger. It, it, um, that's not supposed to happen like that. Japanese yen got a bid overnight. It tried to weaken. It was up to 106.50 yesterday at um, um, actually Sunday night before midnight and then it just keeps getting strength even on the back of that stimulus package um, typically the Japanese gens they repatriate their their currency whenever times get um, you know uncertain and um, Japanese gens showing some strength here let's move on to top news Top news, dollar declines on Fed's outlook as S&P futures and Facebook gain. Facebook must have had some earnings. Hang on a second. Yeah. Facebook had earnings and surprised to the upside by 17% on the EPS basis. Let's see how revenue came. They even beat on the revenue side, which is huge. Anybody that can beat on revenue right now is, is very, very positive. And if you take a look here at, you know, the the estimates, um, unlike Apple, Facebook's estimates keep going up. It's a very good stock right now to own. Let's take a look at Twitter. Twitter doesn't have the same story, um, even though they did beat by 40% on EPS, very strong. And from a revenue perspective, if you see here, they missed. So... Uh, different story. Going back to the news, um, Obama passes the torch to Clinton. He's, uh, you know, behind her, supporting her 100%. Uh, was on the, the, the Democratic National Convention last night. Um, bad year made worse for stock pickers, a match by complexity, which is actually something that may seem like us. Hold on. Anyway, have a great day. I'm out.